What up, YouTube? Team Moose here. Here's my review for another uh, 90s Ron Howard film. And that is probably his best one. Of course, I did my top 10 favorite Ron Howard films of all time. It's arguably say that this was number one. Spoiler, this was my number one fact pick. And that is the 19... What was it? Yeah. That was 94 or 95. It's 95. Uh, the 1995... Sorry about that. The 1994 space film Apollo 13. Come on, what what more can you ask for with this one? Apollo 13 is terrific. You know, of course, this is about the uh, you know the Apollo uh, 13 uh, lunar mission, and you got uh, of course, it is based on the um, events of the Apollo 13 uh, lunar mission, where astronauts Jim uh, Lovell, portrayed by Tom Hanks. Fred Hayes, portrayed by the late Bill Paxson, and Jack uh, Swigger, portrayed by Kevin Bacon, finds that everything is going um, according to plan after uh, leaving Earth's orbit. And when uh, a ox oxygen tank ends up exploding, the schedule moon landing is caught off. Substitute tensions within the crew and numerous techno problems uh, drain both uh, the astronauts' survival and their uh, safe uh, return home. I mean, we of course got the iconic line, Houston... We have a problem. Apollo 13 is, I mean, obviously the uh, storyline was ahead of my time, you know? Uh, you know, the, the Apollo uh, mission um, happened like 1975. Obviously, I was not born then, so I. But anyway, Apollo 13 is just a terrific watch. You know, the space, it was, I believe it was like a green screen, if I'm not mistaken, but it looks so darn real. Uh, it really felt like they were actually in outer space. Of course, we are getting there with Tom Cruise doing a movie in outer space, so that's actually happening. But Apollo 13 is just awesome. I mean, the visuals of this thing was cool. You know, you had a really, uh, you know, Tom Hanks, of course, was great in this. It, it took, like, combined efforts of the crew in the ship and hundreds of NASA staff uh, back in uh, Mission Control Houston, you know, to get the uh, man... You know, back safe here. And it was really a tense to watch. It's not really an easy watch at all, but it's pretty cool. You know, you also had uh, the likes of Ed Harris, who portrays uh, white team flight director Gene uh, Krantz. Uh, you got, you know, Gary Sinise. Of course, you know, before Apollo 13, Tom Hanks and Gary Sinise worked together on a little movie called Forrest Gump. So about a year after uh, Forrest Gump, you know, Forrest Gump and Captain Dan reunited once again for Apollo 13. And it's so ironic that Gary Sinise appeared in um, Apollo 13. Because if you guys remember in the film uh, Forrest Gump, uh, Captain Dan ended up telling Forrest that he wants to uh, go to... I can't remember the actual line. Like, you want to go to space and be an astronaut and stuff like that. A year later, like... 19, of course, uh, Forrest Gump got released in 1994. A year later, we got Apollo 13. So I was, that was a little foreshadowing Apollo 13, yeah. But anyway, uh, you, you also got Chris Ellis was also in this. Uh, you got, uh, you got Kathleen uh, Quinlan, who actually scored an Oscar nomination for her performance. Uh, you got Michael Hughes, you know, from Pet Cemetery fame, uh, was in this. I mean, you've got, uh, Ron, like, even Ron Howard's, uh, real-life daughter, Bryce Dallas Howard, who, of course, directed, uh, episodes of The Mandalorian. She even, um, had, like, a little, uh, part in this film. And believe it or not, uh, Brad Pitt was actually offered the role in the film, but turned it down to do, uh, Seven, so there's a little, um, tip for you there, too. I mean, the film is just... How they were able to do this is really cool. Uh, the effects definitely are great. It scored loads of Oscar nominations. Let me pull up some of its uh, nominations. Uh, can't remember how many um, it scored. Uh, Oscars. Yeah, of course. Uh, it only went for uh, you know best sound editing and best sound mixing, but it did got best picture, best visual effects. Ed Harris uh, 
got a nomination for uh, Best Supporting Actor. Kathleen Quinlan, you know, scored one for Best Supporting Actress. James Horner, the late, great James Horner, scored one for Best Original Score. It was, of course, uh, nominated for Best Adapted Screenplay and Best Production Design. Definitely well deserved nominations. I'm a little surprised they never won Best Picture, but I uh, can't remember what won that year. But uh, anyway, uh, yeah, the, and of course, Brian Grazer was a producer on it. Of course, Grazer and Ron Howard worked together a whole lot of times. I, I've seen this film plenty of times, and it's a really great one. I remember when, you know, uh, a couple of times when I was in school. The first time I ever saw this was actually in school. Uh, you know, one of my teachers put on this movie called Apollo 13. I forgot what class it was. And I remember falling in love with this movie. It's definitely Ron Howard's best work. One of the best space adventure movies there is. Awesome flick. I mean, of course, when the film got released, it did pretty well in the box office, too. Uh, you know, of course, it got 96% on Rotten Tomato, and the box office results was 355.2 million. Pretty much one of uh, Ron Harris' most highest grossing films. And, yeah, uh, if you guys haven't really seen Apollo, and of course, and I'm saying it um, was nineteen six. It was around like uh, the early seventies or sixties. This thing happening, but anyway, if you guys haven't really seen uh, Apollo thirteen, give it a shot. It's a uh, definitely Ron Harry's best work. I gotta rewatch this movie again. It's kind of been a while since I've seen that. But anyway, let me leave with you guys. Have you ever seen Ron Harry's Apollo thirteen? If so, what's the of it? Did you like it? Were you ever like? Were you ever a big fan of it? Uh, you know, drop a comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell for more notifications. This is C-Movie Sion.